I'm doing a little bit something different this week and you just gonna have to roll with me, okay? Roll with me. <laughs> like I said, I am so sorry. This is not like the other YouTube channels because I ain't trying to be like them other YouTube channels. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, this week I'm doing something a little bit different. Just a little bit. Just to add a little, a little za, you know, a little sauce, a little flavor, a little <laughs> switch up, you know. Um, this week I'm listening to Trey How, right? Trey Howe and he's an artist out here in Cincinnati and I had the pleasure to spend some time with him this week so I'm gonna show you a couple uh shots that we got that we got beautiful shots beautiful shots but um let me go ahead and show you these videos right quick before we get into this song so how long have you been doing like music and been in the field all together shit really my whole life been in choir since junior high uh, before that, my music teacher gifted me an organ in like the fourth grade. Yeah. Yeah, she gifted me an organ in there and taught me how to read music. And ever since then, I was up. That building behind you looks beautiful. Tell me about it. <laughs> well, first of all, this is where I got my broadcast started. Really? Yeah, I, I was up here on a psychology degree or as a psychology major. Oh. But that was only because I didn't get into CCM. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I guess I'm a big psychologist. Like, I got into school, I might as well take some classes. And then, like, the first two weeks of school, somebody was like, oh, Bearcast Radio is doing something. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I got a radio station. They was like, you got to do one semester. No bullshit. I did one semester. After that, I was doing some radio show, playing basketball in the rec center, and, like, just rapping. I, was, I recorded my first mixtape in the production studio. Wow. Lucky. Yeah. Like, A lot of people just, can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I got a production studio to record commercials. Yeah, I'm recording the commercials in there. Then one day the program director was like, hey, uh, are you doing a mixtape in here? I'm like, yeah, you know, I, no, I really ripped it to mix it. She was like, yeah, I don't, I don't care what you do. Just wipe it off the hard drive and it's done like that. I dropped three mixtapes out of that production studio. No problem. I was like, oh yeah, I can't. We knew them, but it'd be like, they, you know what I'm saying, they'd see us like, oh, what's up, what's the camera, because we were calling it Uptown Move. They'd be like, yeah, like, talk, say that shit for Uptown Camera. Do it, start talking, we'd slap, like, psych, you get slap TV. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't record it, like, bar fights, the whole night. That sounds like fun. Somebody threw a table out of a cup of four lounge up there. Up here? That was before they redid it. Left them in Texas back then. I didn't even know, like, that's the weird thing about me is I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just doing it. Like, I was hanging out with UC basketball players, football players, all of the frat dudes and stuff. And just never thought nothing of it. Then people would be like, oh, you know, such and such. I'm like, yeah, this is home. Like, we be kicking it. He bought my mixtape. Yeah. 
this question. They were like, cool, pass it by your program director, and then we'll, uh, we'll set something up. I waited 24 hours, emailed him back, I ain't asked nobody shit. Emailed him back, I was like, yeah, the program director said it's cool, we're gonna do it, these are the questions. So after Russell Simmons, he cussing somebody out on the phone. <laughs> yeah, the schedule was this and that, the motherfucker was supposed to be this shit, that, and bullshit. I'm like, yo, he ain't about to interview. He get off the phone, some lady walked up to me and was like, yeah, Mrs. Simmons is ready for you. She walked up to him, pointed to me, he flashed with a big ass smile. Like, yeah, come on back. Interviewed him for like a half hour before he went out to school. And then when he went out to speak, because I was sitting in the front, he just waved my like, oh, what's up, Frank? I was like, yeah, get the fuck down. <laughs> like, this can't be white. I was this close to interviewing with my aunt and it was the same way. Wow. Yeah. I, I, I would have kept You know what's the bug out part? What? I don't have one of the rough and smooth pictures. All I got is a Facebook picture. But he was a terrible term in my head. That was the style back then. <laughs> I make it sound like it was the 80s, but that shit was 2005. <laughs> Now, I don't know about y'all, but for me, that's real cool. That is really cool. I love actually getting to talk to these artists, you know, hearing a little bit more about their story, because after all, everybody has a story to tell, you know, and I find it interesting just to see, like, you know, how they got started, you know, what inspired you, what happened, how did we get here, you know, a lot of people don't really ask those questions anymore but i am but um anyway the reason why we recorded that is because he has a show coming up on june the 9th and it's called cry wolf and he's having at the french festival and um i can't make it this week because i have you know i have a real job sorry guys i have a real job i'm not really online famous i'm only cool online but um i have to work but he has a show called uh the cry wolf at the french festival in cincinnati on june the 9th and I asked about that, and this is what he said. Oh, let me hold the clip. And I can't get black people to buy into it. Why? Surprisingly, being from the South Bronx, I think I'm not black enough. And the way I talk and shit, it's like, I could really project it up, but at the end of the day, what's the point? Shit, I'm trying to get this white man to hang on the post. I feel that. There you have it. That's a little bit of background information on Trey Howe. Like again, I had a great time shooting these videos. He um, put me on to some recording device called a, ooh, shoot, I'm about to butcher it. I'm about to butcher it. Y'all can correct me if I say it wrong. It's okay. Um, DGI, DGI or DVI recording camera. And I think, I think I really like that joint. I may have to invest in that. But anyway, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure hanging out with him and getting to hear about his story. I might have to make this video into a part two because y'all know what we do every week, every Wednesday at 5 p.m. We listen to music, right? And we want to get right into his song <laughs> next week.